do you think? You like the mower? Whoa, didn't see you guys there. Sorry about that. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be taking a look at our 2019 Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1. It's got the 54 inch deck on it. Today's video, we're basically just gonna be doing a very brief overview of it. So like, where the ignition is, what this thing is. What is that anyway? I have no idea. Uh, the throttle, uh, you got the turtle, you got the rabbit. What is that? Uh, you choke. You know, I'm basically gonna be just going over the things that if I was looking to purchase this machine, I would wanna know prior to purchasing it. So, in addition to, you know, like we just joked about over there, um, you know, where the oil fill is, where the oil drain plug is, where the, where the oil filter is, where the fuel filter is, I'm gonna be covering all of that today for you. This machine has about 180 hours on it. So, not a ton, but not a little bit, you know, for the issues that we've had, probably shouldn't be having them with you know that little about it. first let's hop on the machine do a little bit of mowing and uh show you guys exactly how this cub cadet operates all right let's get on it all right the real basics here like we talked about earlier what is this this is the key kind of odd looking but it's cub cadet it says cub cadet on it pretty nice so there's your ignition. This right here, this is your PTO that engages the blades. This is your throttle. As you can tell, turtle, slow, rabbit, fast. Low RPM, high RPM. All the way past the rabbit is choke. So go up, you're at the top of the rabbit. Go a little bit further, you're into choke. To start it up, you wanna choke it. You wanna turn the key. I usually like to let the electronics turn on first and then start it right up. I won't start it yet because I want to just go over one more thing with you as we start this video off. This is how you drive the machine. So forward, backwards. Drives kind of like a tank. To go right, you push the left one forward. To go left, you push the right one forward. All right, seems pretty simple enough. To start it, you have to have the arms out. That engages the brakes, which allows you to start it. So, let's get on it.
What's that? What's up, girl? What are you doing? Huh? Just hanging out? Well, what do you say we get you on the machine, huh? Yeah, look at that. It's even lab approved. That's a good girl. Sit. Sit. You want to be on camera? Sit. This is Ellie May. I don't know if the channel's seen her yet, but she is a yellow lab, 13 weeks old, and her name is Ellie May. What do you think? You like the mower? Pretty cool, right? Mower's pretty good. Yeah, we'll get you to do a little review on it in the next video, huh? All right. All right, well, now that you've seen the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 in action, we can talk a little bit more about it. So I already showed you how to, uh, how to start it up. You just use the ignition right there. There's your PTO, there's your throttle. Pretty self-explanatory there, nothing crazy. This is your hour meter. Looks like it's got 180 hours. Looks like it's telling me low oil pressure as well. I have to take a look and see what that's about. Probably just because uh, it's not running and just the key's on, but I'll take a look. It's got the Kohler 24 horsepower 7000 series engine on the back. Right down here is where your uh, oil filter is. Right down in there. Fuel filter or yep, fuel filters right there. We added a shutoff so we can uh, run the carb dry if we are storing it for over the winter. Sauce is back here. This gets pretty hot, so you don't want to. You want to be a little careful around here. You don't want to leave anything on the back of the mower. We once had a towel that's either fell on it or somebody left it over it. And as I was mowing out here, I I, I go, geez, there's something burning. And I look back, and there's a towel on fire. Had to run in, get a fire extinguisher. It was a whole thing. Wish I got that on video. It's got the 54-inch deck. It's got three blades on the bottom with three different spindles. They are all original, and we have owned this machine since 2019, so it's five years old this July. We'll be sure to get out another video on uh, a five-year review and of the things that we love, things that we hate, problems with it that we've had, but we'll save that for the other video. Got your chute. Take a look at the blades in there. Probably could use a sharpen. Now that I'm looking at them. It always collects grass and crap in here. Gotta be careful of that. Gets around the clutches and then they burn out quicker. Or the spindles, not the clutches. you want to change the oil here's your uh, dipstick right here just pull that out when you want to drain the oil out it's actually really nice it's got a great design right here you just unplug that and it, it'll drain right out into your uh, whatever you use to collect your oil Should have mentioned this earlier but in order to start the machine the levers have to be out that puts it in park it engages the brakes so it can't roll and it allows you to start it take a look under here got your safety sensor for your uh, weight got your battery gas tank i believe it's three gallons i could be wrong on that if uh if i am i'll 
put a little uh, caption in the video. Nothing really super exciting under there. This deck plate, it's pretty cool that uh, Cub was thinking about this. They give you a little uh, tool here. I was like, geez, what does this thing go to? Turns out, it's for this bolt right here. You take this, you loosen it up. Grab this little handle. Like I said, loves the collector ass. But, you can pull this thing right off. Throw it on the ground out of the way. Then you can clean it out, or you can do maintenance to the spindles. Which, you know, with all this crap in here, jeez. Be uh, replacing them soon. Anyway, we'll get this all cleaned up later. But yeah, it's just nice that they, they included that so you can get in there to clean it or to remove the deck or make adjustments, replace the belt. Probably easier to pull the whole deck off to do the belt, but eh, it's nice to have. Over here you got a little uh, adjustment for your deck if it's not level. Another adjustment you can make is right up here in the front. If you're, the middle's dragging a little low, you just tighten or loosen this up and it'll pull it up or it'll push it down. And when you want to put it back on, because you know you don't need, because you don't want to have the belt spinning under your feet, put that right there. Tighten her back down. The other great thing is this tool adjusts your handles or your levers. Let me show you what I mean. So for different people, if you're skinnier or a little bit bigger of a guy, you can uh, adjust these. So to do that, you just loosen this up and then you can adjust it. It sits into the little teeth there, as you can see, and you know, you just you tighten it back down. But there may come a time where they become out of line. Like right now, they're they're pretty good. They're a little off, but eh, pretty good overall. And when you push them forward, you may have one go further than the other. That's a problem if you know you're out mowing. Because you push them all the way forward, one might be going faster than the other, and you're 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 not going straight. So to fix that is all you have to do is you take this, your tool, and there's a little bolt here. You just tighten it or you loosen it. Right now we have ours all the way in on this side and a little bit out on this side. That keeps us pretty much perfect. It's just nice that, that they, they thought of that when they were putting it together, that they keep that tool right there for you. It clips in, just like that. We've never had a problem of losing it. This mower also comes equipped with the deck wash system. It's pretty cool. I don't really use it a whole lot, probably should. But you take your regular standard hose and you connect it to it. You put the deck all the way down to the ground and you just engage the, engage the blades. Uh, I've done it a couple times. It really does clean it out good. I mean, I think this is pretty clean right now. But it's always good if the grass is a little wet to get the crap out of there looks pretty good definitely could use a wash though since this isn't really a review of it a five-year review I'm not gonna get into the the issues that we've had and 
and uh, you know, things that we love and the things that we hate. I'll leave that for the next video. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you're interested in taking a look at that. I'll try to have that up a little bit later on, maybe middle of July. But I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, hope to see you again. Take care.